What's up guys? Thanks for watching Kodiak MD. I'm Amir and this is my Kodiak 100. I'm gonna be flying it and doing some cool stuff with it. I'm gonna take you guys along for the ride. All right, so we're in my new office. It's uh, my Kodiak. We were looking for places to uh, to shoot these videos and something that would look cool. We were looking at like using the plane as a background and stuff, um, but we, we've settled on, on doing it inside the Kodiak and it seems to be working pretty good. It's a little hot, but um, probably as soon as uh, we roll into the winter months, uh, we'll be Will be a little cooler but uh it's worked out pretty well doing doing the uh the videos in here so this is kind of like my new workplace um we're gonna do this video on how much it costs to get your private pilot's license and your instrument rating and i'm gonna do this based on flying a cessna now when you look online or you, when you start looking for how much it costs to get your private pilot's license i mean the stuff people quote you is 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 crazy it's it's so low and it's like not real it's not the truth um even uh my camera guy that's recording this we were just talking about how much it actually costs and he was because he wants to learn to fly he's like holy crap like that's not what it says online no it's not so um you know i want this video to kind of explain what i went through how many hours it took for me to do it and you know the costs associated with it so that you understand when you're getting into this how much it's actually going to cost because what the flight schools tell you and what instructors and all these people tell you is actually not the truth it, it's really not it's significantly more um and so for your private pilot's license your minimum cost for uh, or your minimum number of hours is 40. Now, in one of the videos I talked about, it took me about 80 hours before I was comfortable for a check ride. So I'm gonna say that like, let's just say you're like a superstar. I don't know anyone that can do it in 40 hours. If you can do that, like awesome, more power to you. But like, I think a good average is probably like 65, 70. If you wanna be on the safer side, uh, maybe 80, 90 hours. Like you're not gonna be 120 hours and I don't think you're gonna be 40 hours. You're probably gonna be around like 70, 80 hours. That's, that's I think gonna be a fair estimate, okay? This is to, just to get your private pilot's license. Um, so if you take 70 hours and here in Orange County, California, a Cessna is gonna run you somewhere between like 150 to about 200 bucks an hour to rent. Now it depends on what you're gonna fly. For me personally, like I didn't want to fly the super crappy like 50 year old Cessnas that have carbureted engines and steam gauges. I wanted to fly newer stuff, G1000, um, something that's not like a dinosaur. Um, and so I guess that part of that is just your budget. Like if you understand you're gonna pay a little bit more, but for me, it was kind of a safety factor. I like newer airplanes. I don't like sitting in a, in a you know, 1965 plane that's carbureted and you know been taken apart a million times and, and stuff like that so I chose to really just fly um, some of the newer planes and uh, and G1000 because I was getting ready to move into a Kodiak and the Kodiak is all G1000 based so I wanted to train on the systems that I was going to move into more permanently so um, for me doing a, a Cessna 172 was about $200 an hour and then you have an instructor um, I believe the instructor was like 
75, 80 bucks an hour. All right. Now that's, this is Southern California prices. If you're in like Kansas, it might be a little bit cheaper. You know, it might be cheaper in other areas of the country, but I'm just going off what I paid and you know, what my expectations were and, and you know, how, how things came about. When I started this, I was like, okay, well, you know, I'm going to probably do like, like 40, 50 hours and you know, with an instructor and stuff like that, um, it's, it's probably going to be under $15,000. Well, that, that wasn't the case. We're talking about 70, 80 hours at your 200 to rent plus your instructor. Let's just make the math 300 bucks an hour, 300 bucks an hour times your 70 hours. That's about $20,000. Um, now mine was a little more cause I, I did a little bit, bit more. I was in probably about $25,000. That's a lot more than I thought I was going to spend in the beginning to, uh, to do this on top of that. You got to buy your books. You got to do the ground school. You got to pay for the FAA exam and you got to pay for the check ride. So when it's all said and done, your private pilot's license is going to cost you somewhere between 20 to like $27,000, just depending on where you rent your plane, where you're learning to fly, how much instructors cost, how much the airplane costs, um, how much check ride costs. But you know, it's not going to be like 10 grand, which is what the, the, the schools seem to advertise. It's, it's definitely not that, um, it's, it's going to be almost double that. So I, you know, I want you guys to understand to be, be prepared for that going in. Uh, that way you'll understand before you're getting into it, how much the costs are actually going to be. All right. So you get your private pilot's license and of course, you know, you still really don't know how to fly. I mean, you know how to fly, but you don't, you need more hours and, and you need to get more comfortable. Um, the only way to do that is just by building more time. And it's not building time, like just going up in the air uh, and, and sitting with someone. It's actually building time, flying, navigating, you know, f routing things, looking at weather, figuring out where to go, doing takeoffs, doing landings, doing all that is what's going to make you a better pilot. Um, then you want to move to your instrument rating. And I did a video talking about, you know, why I, I was in such a hurry and such a rush to get my instrument rating. It was basically so I could get insurance. Um, but now let's talk about the cost of the instrument rating. So you spent the $25,000 for your private pilot's license, the instrument rating, I'm going to look on my phone. It calls for 50 hours of PIC cross country. So now you're, you're taking a Cessna and for the most part, an instructor, and you're doing 50 hours. So if you're doing, and again, this is the minimum, the bare minimum. Um, let's just say you're going to do 60 hours of those cross countries at your $300 an hour. Now you're in about $18,000 just for those cross countries. Okay. Um, with that being said, you also need to do about 40 hours of instrument time. Now, in my experience, if you do those 50 cross countries, 50 hours of cross country, you're not going to get the 40 hours of instrument time. It's just not going to happen. Realistically, every one of those flights, you're going to do the foggles for maybe 15 minutes, 20 minutes. If you're doing, you know, hour, hour and a half flights, you're not going to be under the hood for like an hour and a half. You're not going to learn doing that. Like when you're under the hood, you need to be doing turns. You need to be changing altitude, you know, loading approaches, doing stuff like that. Not just have the autopilot on and cruising, you know, cross country. You're not learning by doing that. And a, you're going to, you know, screw yourself because you're doing this to learn and to be a safe pilot and understand what to do if you're in bad weather. And so in my mind, like you don't want to mess around with that. You want to actually be doing stuff that makes sense and that you're learning from. Um, and B, when you get to a check ride, you may not be ready for a check ride all of a sudden. If you've been just throwing a hood on and flying around in circles just to get, you know, instrument time, well, when you get to the check ride, if you're not prepped, you might have to do 20, 30 more hours of that. So, you know, in my experience, I wasn't able to get those 40 hours in those 50 hours across country. So in, in reality, I probably did another 20 hours or so, um, of hood instrument flying. So that brought me to about 70 to 80 hours. So we're talking about 70 to 80 hours, um, at the 300 bucks an hour, I was in about $25,000, um, for learning and prepping for the instrument and also meeting all the requirements of the instrument. Now there's other stuff that you need to do as well. You have to do like a 250 nautical mile cross country. Um, 
So like that's going to cost a little bit of money, but roughly speaking, uh, you know, it was about $25,000. Now in my, in my journey, I wasn't ready for a check ride. Even with all the stuff that I did, I just wasn't ready for a check ride. Um, I opted to sign up for an instrument or IFR course. It was a five day course that was done out of Long Beach. And the way that that worked was I, I went in at 8, 8.30 in the morning, did ground school till about 11, 30, 12. And then from like 12 to four or five o'clock, we would do instrument flying. It was five days and then on the sixth day was the check ride, okay? Um, that program was $2,000 a day. It was four hours of flight on the on the plane. So if you take the four four hours at the 300 bucks, that's 1200 bucks. And then I was paying for the ground portion as well. But the guy basically charged about two grand a day for that. Um, the five days, it was $10,000. So it was $10,000 for that. And then the check ride cost, which I think was like a thousand bucks. So if I was at my $25,000 in the initial flying to meet the requirements, plus my instrument prep was another 10,000, that was 35,000 plus add the check ride, the FAA exam, some of the books that I bought, you know, all the, all the little extra fees, two or $3,000 probably into that. Um, you know, I, I was close to $40,000 um, when it was all said and done to get the instrument rating. And when I went down this road to get the instrument rating, that's not what I thought it was gonna cost. I mean, I thought it was gonna cost like half that. So private pilot instrument rating, the two together are probably going to cost you 60, 70,000 bucks. And you need to be ready for that because there's a lot of younger people that are getting into this and they're like, oh, you know, I'm going to fly and I'm going to this and I'm going to that, but they don't really know what it's truly going to cost. Um, you know, it is what it is. The plane is the plane. You can fudge it a little bit and fly a cheaper plane. You know, you can fly with a less experienced instructor for a little less money. Um, I didn't want to do any of that. I preferred to pay a little bit more and, you know, have a little better instructor, a little bit of a newer airplane. It cost me more in the long run. Um, I, I, I did the, the IFR course. It made me a better pilot. It made me understand a lot of stuff. It prepped me for the check ride much better. And, um, you know, at the end of the day, the cost was the cost. And I just didn't know these costs to begin with. And flight schools, will notoriously advertise things as being, you know, a lot less expensive than they are to get you into the door. And then once you get into the door, you start realizing how much it's really gonna cost. And you're like, holy crap, I wasn't really ready for that. So I'm doing this video to um, share my journey, what I, what my experience was, how much my costs were. And, you know, um, you know, going into this, it's something that I didn't know. Had I had seen a video like this, I would have been more prepared for it. And so I'm hoping that this video helps newer pilots understand, you know, what the realistic fees are and the costs are to, you know, get these ratings and get the experience needed to actually be able to, you know, fly up in the clouds um, with passengers and, and yourself safely and be able to, you know, do a cross country if when if you encounter weather, you know, you you know what to do and are able to get back onto the ground in a safe way. So I hope this helped. Um, subscribe to us, give us some likes, give us some comments, and um, looking forward to doing another video for you guys.